guys. Happy Sunday. We're here in Walmart. Um, looks like they stocked up on their CeraVe. That's great. This is the one CeraVe product I'm really not a fan of. The Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I reviewed that for you guys, but it really balled up quite a bit. The uh, Ultralight Moisturizing Lotion, though, is a good one. I enjoy it. It's not like the most robust SPF out there. It's a chemical sunscreen, but uh, it's really comfortable to wear and uh, looks nice on the skin. No cast, great for oily skin. Uh, doesn't pill up or ball up or anything like that. The AM one definitely does pill a little bit. Um, many of you experience that uh, with your makeup and whatnot. Ooh, look, they have the moisturizing lotion in a uh, to-go size. And they have the, uh, oh, somebody popped the top. I hate it when people do that. <laughs> Speaking of pump, here's another, here's another win, winning product. This was my saving grace in Colorado. I used this mostly when I lived in Colorado. This Vanny Cream Moisturizing Cream. So dry there, you guys. Uh, comment below. I know some of you live in, in the Denver, Denver metro area. This one was, was a saving grace. Ooh, what is this Equate Beauty? Say hello to hydrated hyaluronic acid. Let's cross our fingers. They didn't put fragrance in this. Oh look, they didn't. That's great. It has glycerin and hyaluronic acid. Cool. Hello. Is this new? Cetaphil has an extra gentle daily scrub. Looks new. They put fragrance in this. Yeah, masking fragrance. Cetaphil is always sneaking in the masking fragrance. They try and enact all fragrance free and then they put masking fragrance in, which is fragrance. It just masks odor. But it's still fragrance. If you're, you know, it can, it's sensitizing, basically. This is Kiwi brand. Please tell me this doesn't have fragrance in it because it's so darn cute. This little Kiwi on it from New Zealand. Oh, yep, yeah, fragrance. You know, um, Manuka honey and honey um, are actually good ingredients and it is a good ingredient in skincare. I know it's not vegan, but it's a wonderful humectant. It has antibacterial and antimicrobial properties and um, is anti-inflammatory. You, you can actually get medical grade honey. It's been irradiated, so it's used in, in treating uh, wounds, especially on the lower leg. The reason it's been irradiated is that, as, as you probably are aware, honey can sometimes have uh, uh, clostridium spores or botch, uh, bot, <laughs> Botox spores, Bo um, uh, botulism. Spores. That's what I'm trying to spit out. Uh, that's why you technically shouldn't give it to uh, to an infant uh, because of that. they can't handle that. But uh, you definitely wouldn't want to put that in a wound. You could get uh, cutaneous botulism, which is not fun. You guys are always asking about these blotting sheets, but if you put sunscreen on and then use one of these, you're, you're blotting it off. So yeah, I don't recommend doing that. But I know they're helpful if you've got like a shiny forehead for reducing that but you're just taking off your sunscreen. Choose a matte sunscreen instead, that way you don't have the shine. Uh, typically sunscreens labeled oil-free are gonna be more of a matte finish. They'll have silicones in them. This is a great uh, matte finish sunscreen. It has, um, I think it's got aluminum, not aluminum, uh, like st a starch in it. What does it have? I forget exactly. Yeah, it's got silica and yeah, aluminum starch. Aluminum starch. Can help uh, in kind of mopping up sebum and reducing shine. God, clean and clear, just stop. Just stop. You're setting teenagers everywhere up for failure. This is like like a go-to brand for like pre-teens, pre -teens, teens. That's some of the worst, unfortunately. Because it's just laden with with fragrance. They that's that's when they start the fragrance infatuation. Get them while they're young. I'm telling you guys, employees in the Houston area, they they just have a work ethic that I, is unparalleled, unprecedented. No offense to those of you in other cities. I'm always blown away when I come to Walmart throughout Houston how neat and tidy they are. I mean, really, if you work in Walmart, if you work for Walmart in the Houston area, you get. Uh, you get a two thumbs up from me. I'm just always impressed by how neat and well 
well tidied and stocked the shelves are. Because, you know, Walmart sometimes gets a bad rap for being messy, but that's not my experience whatsoever. Looks like Equate Beauty has a uh, dupe for the Olay Regenerous Eye Lifting Serum. I would never promote that you guys use an eye serum. It has niacinamide in it. I mean, again, just use like your regular moisturizer around your eyes. What else does this have in it? Not a whole lot. Oh, it's got a uh, tetrapeptide 7, palmito oil peptides. It's got peptides in it, so that can, uh, those actually have been shown uh, to improve the appearance of crow's feet, wrinkles around the eyes. Um, so, I don't know, this, this is one, I mean, for those of you who are, who are eye cream, eye serum junkies, there you go. What about this? Please tell me this is free about it, fragrance. This is a dupe for the micro, this is a dupe for the micro sculpting cream. They're calling it the micro remodeling. I love it. Let's change sculpting to remodeling. Remodeling is actually a, a good good name. Product of Israel tetrapeptide complex. Oh snap! Fragrance, dang! Why oh, you gotta do that? Cause Olay did it. And they're just duping Olay. I mean, you can't be mad at them. I hate it when the generic brand, when the generic store brand dupes the fragrance containing version of things. It's always annoying, but yeah, like see, Olay makes th their seven in one moisturizer, which I've reviewed for you guys before. They make a fragrance free version, but Equate Beauty duped the fragrancey one. Dang, dang, Equate is really on their on their Olay dupage. That's, that's, that's aggressive dupage, because Olay has like 90,000 different creams. <laughs> you guys know how I feel about the marketing ploy that is Clean Beauty, um, C-L-E-A-N. But anyways, uh, Walmart has jumped on that bandwagon and has this clean brand, but um, I'm looking at some of the stuff here. A lot of it's garbage, but some of it doesn't seem that bad, including this white clay face bar. This kind of looks like a dupe for, this is the Peaky Bar that Drunk Elephant makes. It has kale and clay, which can help in kind of binding on to oiliness. It has oat extract, which is moisturizing, shea butter. This looks like a good facial cleansing bar. Four dollars. The advantage of bar soaps is that you actually end up using less product uh, than you would if you used a liquid cleanser. Does this have fragrance in it? I'm betting it does. It's advocating the rose hip bladder whack. Whacking your bladder. Yep, geranial. Skip that. Let me double check. Make sure this doesn't have fragrance. When I'm editing this, I'm gonna it's gonna pop out at me. But here in 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 Walmart lighting, it I don't see fragrance. So that that's looking promising. Acai face scrub. Does this have some kind of aggressive particles in it? Avocado oil. That's not an aggressive particle. I don't see fragrance on this one either, and I don't see MI either. This looks promising. Cruelty free and vegan. What? Seven bucks. All right, we have two cleanser options here. I'm not sure if this has particulates in it. Whenever I see scrub, mm, I give it the the left eye. <laughs> Cooling eggplant eye balm. Um, we don't need this. By we, I mean you and I. We don't, we don't need this. Basil flower? No, let's skip that. Vitamin C papaya glow. Tangerine peel, grapefruit peel, orange peel. Nah, let's not give ourselves a dermatitis. The mineral SPF also looks promising. I don't see a fragrance on the list. It's zinc oxide. It's gonna give a cast. I know that. This is gonna be casty. But 
There you go. It's only SPF 30 though. I'd love to see 50, but you know, a zinc, you guys know, a zinc oxide sunscreen that's SPF 50 is gonna be like, like white paint. Oh God, anything that says lavender, no way. Lavender, chamomile. Uh, anything that says lavender or grapefruit, including unfortunately the Neutrogena grapefruit salicylic acid face wash. Don't get me wrong, I have used that as an adolescent, I loved it. And I mean, it's it's a salicylic acid face wash, but the fragr you know, they put fragrance in it, unfortunately. Treat Clean Beauty Avocado Hemp Butter. Sandalwood, yeah, sandalwood's an essential oil. Let's not do that. All right, so a few potential options here. What is this Moringa body butter? Dang, they got a whole lot going on here. Melon fruit. Oh, bergamot. No, nope. let's not. Let's not do that. Let's not do that, butter. I'm gonna have a video talking about turmeric face masks. So, um, the point of that video is to tell you guys that there's there's not a whole lot of. I um, can't be super confident in the uh, bioavailability of turmeric. Blue algae hydrating sheet mask. I'm gonna willing to bet there's fragrance in that. Yep, vanilla in, which is unfortunate. Uh, marine extracts like algae, they're great humectants. I have a video on marine extracts. Is it just me or is that fragrance-free Pond's cold cream? Hard to source. You almost have to get oops. You almost have to get it online. They like never have it in stores. Somebody's gonna chime in. Trader Joe's has it. I feel as though if any anytime there's something hard to find, someone will comment that Trader Joe's has it. <laughs> I don't think Trader Joe's carries Unilever though. Side note, speaking of Unilever, British friends, I did not know that Marmite was a Unil was made was owned by Unilever. I love Marmite. Put it put it on a lot of many things. Pro tip for those of you in the UK who make your own hummus, put some Marmite in your uh, in your hummus when you're making your hummus. Thank me later. Oh, they still have my uh, Ucupia to, to turn tables in a microphone. I 10 out of 10 recommend this thing, you guys. I have this, remember my pantry organization video? I've been, I'm still loving it. It's still helping with my uh, beverage stick organization and you guys need my, know, know me and my beverages I'm, uh, I'm always I'm always with my drinks <laughs> now these are useful these little crocks for your potatoes onions and garlic I have not I mean I've seen like crocks like this but not that's just an, a great idea. You always see like the flower canisters as like things that people are always registering for, for on their, I feel like people always register for stuff like that when they're getting married. Potato crock. That's what you need. Buddy. Getting some fabric? I got some needles. Oh. Uh, these are for the jeans and these are for regular. I needed one of these, you know, the rotary cutter. Mm -hmm. I, was, I thought they had happy planners here, but they don't. They don't? No. Yeah, they, I, I could have sworn they did. I know they do online, but maybe at another Walmart they do. But I mm. even wandered over into the office supplies to see if they might be over there, but you used to have one of these when you were into beading, remember? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we exited Walmart. My mom got some Lara bars to have for the week. I wanted to show you guys, you remember I um, shared this Neutrogena Protect and Tint. It's like a BB cream, tinted moisturizer, whatever marketing. Yeah, tinted moisturizer. It's SPF 30. I, um, I've had it for a little while now and I want to finish it up. It's a combination sunscreen that has titanium dioxide and a variety of UVB chemical filters. So it's not the best UVA coverage sunscreen product out there, but it's nice. I have it on over um, my dermatology sunscreen. 
uh, and I, I just want to make my way through it, but I think it really looks nice on the skin. This is a really great product for masking the white cast of sunscreens. Um, it's nice for camouflaging some of the shininess of, of sunscreen, so yeah, I really like it. Um, and I recommend it. I think it's a good, it's a good option for, for doing just that. As a standalone sunscreen though, it's not enough UVA protection. It's only SPF 30, so, uh, and it's a small tube. So like I wouldn't buy something like this as my standalone sunscreen. It's just not very cost effective, but for cosmetic purposes, it's nice. It looks nice on the skin. It's free of added fragrance. Um, I think it's oil free as well. Don't quote me on that. It's not comedogenic, so very acne friendly. It's not, it's not greasy or it's not drying either. It it has chemical filters in it, but it doesn't have avabenzone in it, which is the filter that will protect you against UVA, even though it's not super stable. Um, it doesn't have avabenzone in it, but the chemical filters are just for UVB. They may cause some stinging for people with really sensitive skin. Um, but that's gonna vary from person to person. I don't find the stinks. Hey, little boy. Hey. You ready to go out? Oh, I missed you too. I missed you too, Punky. Oh, you give me a hug. Puppy. make myself a smoothie bowl. I haven't had one in a while. We have, my mom has some frozen cherries that sound good. Answer that It's the dark cherries with the protein powder. It was blended in some of this, oops, uh, almond coconut milk and a little ice and chia seeds. And then I topped it with quinoa, hemp seeds, raisins, peanuts, uh, cashews, and a drizzle of tahini. I really am on a tahini kick lately. I, I, I really like it. Ooh, you're making a pro, uh, pot pie? Trying to make a shepherd's pie. Oh, that's, that's good. And then here's the potato to go on top. Ooh, looks good. I hope it tastes good. This is just uh, soy milk with arrowroot arrow root starch? starch in it. So, oh. And also nutritional yeast. Mm. Recipe a... is from the Forks Over Knives plan book. Oh, okay. Yeah. You got that at the library? I did. Yeah, here's the book. The uh, Forks Over Knives Shepherd's Pot Pie. Downward dog. Doggy bow. <laughs> yeah, that's another library. Library win. Always happy with the library. Well guys, I think I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that you're having a nice Sunday. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen, sunscreen and subscribe. subscribe. I'll talk Bye. to you guys tomorrow. Have a great Bye. week, everyone.